Hey everyone, it's Kathy Zilski. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I've got a fun grad card project that features painting a bunch of rainbow swatches so that you can create multiple cards with one little painting session. We're going to use some distress inks to paint and then just create some really simple designs for a grad card. So let's get into the project. I'm starting out today with this grad cap die that I designed for Simon and some watercolor paper. Now what I'm going to do is create a really simple grid and the purpose of this grid is so that I know where to paint my little sets of rainbows that I'm going to do to make sure that I can get one grad cap full of rainbow color in each space. So any color is going to work. Now I'm going to use Zig Clean Color Real Brush Markers, but you can use watercolors, you can use distress inks, whatever you have on hand. Just pick a series of rainbow colors and start painting. Now I'm going to use a simple water brush here and all I'm going to do is go into each little quadrant and paint the first color of the rainbow in each one. I thought if I do it all at once, then I get all these little quadrants that are going to be ready for the next card that I create using this design. So very, very simple, working in rainbow order. And the other thing that's kind of cool about this is no two rainbows are going to look exactly the same, right? Because some are going to look a little darker. On that first quadrant, when I lay the color down, I feel like it goes down a bit darker. I had to keep bringing in a little more of my Zig color because it gets lighter the more you pick it up. But I'm working my way through, the rainbows are taking shape, and I decided to bring in one more blue because that blue that I was using was just a bit too light. And this is what I'm doing. It's very So this is simple, like yes, it's a little more involved, okay? It's not as simple as it could be, but again, you could do this with any color you have on hand. You could even do this with just basic ink blending, but the quadrants give you that guide of how big to make your rainbows. Now I'm going to hit this with my heat tool just very lightly to hasten the drying. You could let this dry on its own, you don't have to do this. And then I decided just to cut these pieces apart. That will just make it easier to run these pieces through my die cut machine and I'll have all of my little watercolored square panels ready to go. Now I took one of them and backed it with some fun foam. See that? A little bit of dimension. Because I thought this would be a nice way to get some quick dimension. I'm using a metal adapter plate just to ensure that I get a clean cut. And I will run this back and forth a few times just because when you have fun foam, it's a little harder to cut. But when I poked it all out, turns out it cut beautifully. And I was so excited to see this because this is such a quick way to add dimension. I usually stack die cuts and sometimes that's a little slow and tedious, but the fun foam is a great way to get things popped up. I'm adding a little liquid glue to the back of the foam layer and I have cut out a white shadow layer from this set and I'm just going to adhere the rainbow painted and popped up pieces onto that shadow layer base. And I'll repeat that off camera. Next for some sentiments. I decided to stamp a couple because I wasn't completely sure where I wanted to go with this card. And I grabbed my Simon Intense Black, just a great all-purpose super inky black ink and I'm using my Misty tool to get a great impression. I like to use a Swiffer cloth just because it lets my hands kind of slide over that Misty door. Now I'll take the coordinating dies for this set and go ahead and cut those out. I thought it would be nice to add a little texture as well with this stencil. This is a grad cap stencil and I set up my embossing sandwich and when I take this stencil off you'll see the texture that it embosses into the white cardstock. I love nice? that subtle texture. For my card base, I've got some Simon Green Apple cardstock. I'm gonna score this, it will be top folding USA2, which is four and a quarter wide by five and a half tall. I like to tape my card bases closed just so they stay flat while I'm adhering my other elements. I've got some foam tape on the back of the embossed panel. I will pop that up with that nice, about a quarter of an inch framing margin space, letting that cardstock on the base come through. I used some thin foam squares on my sentiment and I decided to go with the change the world. I really love that sentiment. Using my ruler here just to get it nice and lined up on the card. Looks good. And then I'm going to use just a little liquid glue right on the back of that shadow layer for the grad cap. And rather than pop it up because it already has some dimension, I'm just going to line it up 
with equal spaces on either side, and that little tassel lines right up with the E. To finish off the card, I'm going to use some moonshine sequins from Simon Says Stamp. Just a couple gathered in three spots, creating a lovely little connection to this center weighted design. And that's the finished card project. Now the cool thing is, I have all of these other little rainbow panels for more cards. And so that's why I think this is kind of fun because I don't know about you, but grad season is always a time where you need a lot of grad cards. And I think you could use these die cuts in a lot of different ways. Thanks so much for watching today. I would love to have you become a subscriber to my YouTube channel. And if you do subscribe, be sure to hit the gray bell below the video so that you don't miss the next time I post. Here are a couple other videos that you might be interested in watching. Thanks so much and have a great day.